Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. It's Tuesday, it's reset day, which of course means I'm here to tell you guys what is new in the world of Destiny 2 this week. So as always, if you guys do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, but to begin with, firstly a note on Faction Rally. There's going to be server maintenance later on today. If you guys are in the UK, it starts at 4pm, ends at 8pm. If you guys are in the States, then that is 8 a.m. Pacific up until 12 p.m. Pacific. And once the server comes back online, when 1.0.3.1 has been deployed, that is when they'll announce the faction winner. So for those of you guys that, of course, been handing in your packages, that is when we'll find out which factions won. And that is, of course, when you will then be able to buy their quote unquote powerful weapon. So until then, you can still go around gathering your packages, handing things in and whatnot, and basically working towards your respective faction. So for the time being, let's turn our attention to the usual activities. First up, your milestones. Your flashpoint this week has now returned to the beginning. We're back to EDZ. It just works in a loop, so this is pretty standard, pretty predictable now. But we're back on EDZ, so go there to do your flashpoint to get your powerful gear. You, of course, have your call to arms, your nightfall, and your clan XP engrams that are reset. So complete all of those, and of course, on the clan topic, it then means you can start working towards your next clan level two. As for your Nightfall this week, it is Sabathon's Song and your modifiers for this one are Momentum, so Health and Shield Regeneration are disabled when standing still, so Sprint to regenerate more quickly. So basically this is a Nightfall where you want to keep moving, which you kind of do anyway because of course you have timers. On top of that you also have Time Warp Anomalies, this is the one where the strange anomalies, the sort of Vex looking cubes, they're detected, they appear in the area and you have to destroy them to get time back. Everyone you kill gives you 30 seconds. These are the ones, this is probably one of the like hardest ones for time. It's one of the ones where you actually have to go looking for these things. They're not like presented in front of you like the rings all the time, but look behind boxes, look over ledges, shoot these things and they will of course restore your time. So again, time nightfall, but that is where your attention will be this week. After that, we then turn our attention to Tess Everest. Her stock has changed this week. So first up, you have the sick emote. You also have the taunt dance. Your exotic sparrow this time around is vanishing point. You also have the sojourner ship the Starling Bolt ship. You have an ornament for the Wardcliffe Coil, which is Tesla's Revenge. I don't have this one, so I'll definitely pick this up. It actually looks really cool. I prefer this to the default color scheme, so definitely going to grab that one right now. Plus, you also have the clean silver looking ornament for Minor Bolt Tool, all the essentials. So if you're missing either of those, then feel free to pick those up. Your armor piece this week is the chest piece. You have a couple of ghosts, Honeycomb Shell and the Half Submerged Shell. And you then have shaders. You have Frumious Blue, which looks like this. That actually looks quite cool on my new Monarchy gear. I might actually have to use that. You also have one of my favorites, Monochromatic. This is like your standard sort of black and white shader. It's also got the sort of carbon fiber pattern to it. So definitely grab these ones. These are ones that I'm actually running quite low on. So I might try and grab those if I get a chance. And you also have the Bumblebee shader, which on some armor can look pretty bright, pretty kind of over the top. On this one, it's actually quite modest, but again, pretty cool shader. And if you're running low on fire team medallions, again, don't forget to stock up. Following on from there, don't forget you can go to K6 and grab all of his treasure maps. They are pretty expensive, but don't forget that if you open the chest, you do have a chance at exotics. It's not guaranteed, but it does seem to be a higher chance every single time I've done the treasure chest search. Normally, one or two people in my team at least get an exotic. And this week, your treasure maps will send you back to the EDZ. It seems like the treasure maps basically coincide with whatever your flashpoint is. So if flashpoint that week is EDZ, that is where your treasure maps are going to be. Pretty simple to find. Of course, look for the icons. Go over there, open them up, and hope you get lucky. Then finally, for those of you that like to do the meditations for Ikora Ray, then you can of course go here, you can grab the 1 AU meditation, you also have Unbroken, and you also have Larceny. So these are your meditations this week, grab those, hand them in, and of course you can go from there. Someone actually asked on Twitter the other day, is it worth ranking up Ikora? Apparently some people have got exotics from her packages, so it's one of those things where if you're looking for things to do, it doesn't hurt to spend the time doing this. It might well be rare, but you can of course get some decent items from her handing in packages. So that's pretty much it. That is your week in Destiny 2 so far. Again, reminder, there will be maintenance today. The server will go down for a few hours. And then once it comes back up, the faction winner will be announced. You'll then be able to go to that respective faction. If you pledged your allegiance to them, that weapon will cost you 1,000 Glimmer. If you didn't, it'll cost you 50,000 Glimmer. If you're anything like me and you've basically pledged three different factions across three different characters, just log on as your matching character and buy it for cheap. But either way, That'll be available later on today. I will be checking out the weapon once it goes live, so expect a sort of weapon review at some point in the day. But until then, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.